Hey, what's up? Jason here from Unity3D.College. In this video, I just wanted to show how easy it is to switch out your cursor at runtime and have a context-sensitive cursor. So here you can see I've got this little selection cursor, and if I go over a character, I switch over to a sword to mean I'm going to attack. Now, there are a couple ways I can hook this up, but the core functionality is really in just calling these two methods here. So I've got a set move cursor, which calls set cursor, and I pass in a move cursor and a set attack cursor which passes in an attackable cursor and both of these are textures but I want to show you the textures real quick so if we go to this cursors folder see I have a pointer 05 and an attack 01 they're both textures but the texture type has to be set to cursor without this you'll get just weird lines and not what you're looking for now to actually switch it out there are two different ways that I'm showing here and you could also do it any other way you can come up with but for instance on this character I've got an attackable script which actually should be calling into the singleton right here like that so it just calls cursor controller dot instance dot set attack cursor when the mouse enters and sets it to a move cursor when it exits and this is pretty good it'll work okay uh, you may have issues if you go from one thing to another though and then the order of these methods getting called could could cause a problem um, another way that I've done it before is to create an update method and then on this cursor controller object I just do an update and I do a raycast and then I check to see what type of thing I'm hitting. If I'm hitting something that's attackable, switch to an attack cursor, otherwise switch to a move cursor. Uh, this is probably a little bit less performant, but it's either way it's not a huge deal. It doesn't seem to make an impact. but. Cool functionality nonetheless, so remember, if you want to have context sensitive sensitive cursors, it's pretty easy. Just put them in. Um, remember to set your cursors to the cursor type and everything will just kind of work. So hopefully this is helpful for you. If you like the video, don't forget to like and hit subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments below. And thanks for watching.